Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is how to build lighting the proper way. Now this won't apply to you if you are using Lumen, however there are still a lot of people that aren't using Lumen and fully dynamic lighting, they're still using static baked and so today we're going to be going over a better way to be able to bake that lighting. So we're just going to get right into it. So the normal way to bake lighting in Unreal Engine 5 is to go to build and then build lighting only. And you can obviously change the lighting quality to production before you build it, and that will then build your lighting to be used in your game. However, there is a better way of doing that, which is A, quicker, and B, more efficient. So the way we're gonna do that is through a plugin. So we're gonna to go to edit, plugins, and then we're going to search for GPU, and we want to enable GPU light mass. Now this is in a beta version, so keep that in mind, however, I've not really found many issues with it. I have found some issues which I will go over, however, obviously, you can decide whether or not you want to use this. So we'll press yes, and then we'll just restart the engine, and I'll be back to you once we have done that. So we are now back, the engine has restarted, so we can close the plugins menu, go back into our level, and then you can see, now if we go up to the top and press build, we now have GPU light mass. So if we click on that, that's going to open a new tab which I've already docked to the bottom right down here. For you, it will probably appear here and then you can just drag and dock this wherever you like. So I'm going to have mine here. Now there are many settings here that you can change. However, the default will probably be perfectly fine for you as they're very, very good settings. I will leave a link in the description down below to the full documentation for the GPU light mass plugin if you do want to go into more detail on all of these. However, I will go into some of the basics now. So one tip you're gonna to want to do is in the top right here, you can see viewport real time is on. What we want to do is untick that. So this means that anything that will be moving in your viewport in real time now will not be, and that will make it build a lot quicker. So you can toggle this on and off while building as well. However, having it off just is so much quicker. Show progress bars will show a progress bar on the asset or the texture itself which we'll see when we're building later on, so you can see how far through it is. And then mode here, we've got full bake and bake what you see. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Full bake will bake everything in a scene, and bake what you see will only bake what the camera is seeing, so what is currently in the viewport. Compress light maps, if you hover over it, you can see it will then just compress the light map textures. This is ticked by default, and I would leave this ticked. If you untick it, then as you can see there, it will increase the memory and disk size by about four times. However, because they're not compressed, they will be of a slightly higher quality, but I don't think there's that much difference in quality to warrant actually that much more disk space being used. The same with the denoising, you can have that be either not at all on completion or during interactive preview. On completion is again, just a lot quicker and nicer and you can choose which denoiser you want to use. You've also got global illumination if that is something which you are using as well. And the same goes for volumetric light maps, irradiance caching, and all this other stuff. Again, you don't really need to change any of it. It's perfect as it is by default, but those options are there if you want. Now in the top left, we have our build lighting button. However, you can see for me, it is grayed out. And underneath it, it says GPU light mass requires support hardware ray tracing enabled in your project settings. So what I need to do is just go to edit, project settings, and then I can simply just search for hardware, and then I want to tick support hardware ray tracing, where it is. So if I put hardware ray tracing instead, I can tick that and I might need to restart again as I do. So again, I'll be back in a second. And you can also change all these other settings for your lighting and rendering as well. For example, ray trace shadows and skylight. However, just for the moment, I'm just using the basics of the GPU light mass plugin. I'm not going into details of how to make your game look the best with the lighting. That is a completely different video, more in depth. This is just how to build the lighting. So again, I'll restart and be back with you in a second. So we are back once again, so I'll close this. And now what you can see in the top left, we have the build lighting button enabled, it is green. So I can just go right ahead and click that. Before I do that though, however, for the lighting itself, you're going to want to make sure that the lights are set to either static or stationary, because those are ones that you bake. Movable, so fully dynamic, means there is no baking at all. Static is fully baked, so that's the fastest rendering, that's what I've got all of these set to. And stationary is only partially baked, so the rendering is still faster than movable, but not as fast as static. So again, I have set all of mine to static. 
Now, if you have them as stationary, that means you can't have more than four overlapping in one area. So if we were to do that, for example, let me show you what happens. So I set this to stationary, and I get four overlapping each other. You'll see that that's fine. But as soon as I get a fifth one, one of them will say, will give you this X, which means it's basically not working. So you need to set one of them to static, or just not have that many in an area, which is obviously what I'm doing, because I don't need all of those there. So if we now go back to the GPU light mass tab, we can press build lighting, and then you may get this message the first time doing it saying some messages in your scene are not using the latest light map UV generation algorithm. Would you like to upgrade them? And I'm just gonna press yes. You will only get that for the first one, and then if you get this message log here, you see what it did. And then all you need to do is press build lighting again, and now it's gonna be building the lighting. It will go completely dark as it removes all lighting data, and then it will start building the lighting. So we should see some progress bars appear very soon, but you can see it's going up really, really quickly. If I were to tick this off, then you can see it says slow mode and it's a lot slower. But so what I'm gonna do is just untick that to go back onto fast mode. Now there's no progress bars that I can see here. That's probably just because of how basic and simple the scene is. It doesn't really need any. However, we can now see the lighting has finished building. I'm encoding the textures and none of this was sped up by the way, this was all real time. I've not cut anything out. This is how quick this is. It's a very simple scene and in fact, there's actually no lighting in here. So if I go to the details, I might just need to increase how bright these are. And so you'll see that actually the first time I was doing this, it has gone completely black and there's now no lighting in here whatsoever. If I were to click on one of these and change it and then change it back, you see the lighting does come back. So that means there is an issue with how we have done this. Something has gone wrong somewhere. That's fine. So I believe the issue with this is probably because I've just created a new project straight off the bat. Lumen is enabled by default, so I think I need to disable Lumen. So if I go to edit, project settings, I can then go down to the rendering tab and make sure that I disable Lumen so that we are using just baked lighting. So I go to rendering here, what I can do is make sure that I scroll down and under dynamic global illumination method, set that to none, for example, and reflection, set that to screen space. And now we should not be using Lumen anywhere. So you can see that now all of these have come back. So if I now build the lighting again, we should see this works perfectly now. So it has gone dark once again as it's removed all the lighting data. It's continuing to build the lighting quickly as it should. And then once it gets to 100%, which is about to any second now, we should see that the lighting should actually have worked this time, because again, it was trying to use both dynamic and static at the same time, which obviously gave us the blackness, which we didn't want. And so you can see now that that worked perfectly, we have the lighting looking like this. Now, an interesting thing with this is because it's fully baked lighting, if I were to delete all of these lights, you can see that it is actually still there. So the lighting data is still there because it is baked into the light maps of the textures. And if it doesn't look great for you, then that probably means your light map textures or light map resolutions aren't perfect. So a way to look at that is I do have another video on this, but if you go into the lit mode up here, then go to optimization view modes and then light map density, you will be able to see them like this. So blue is perfect, green is good, red is bad. So what you can do is then open up the mesh itself to change them or change them individually in the scene by going to the details panel of it, searching for light map or light map resolution, tick override and you can change it here. So if I change this to 32 and then 16 and eight, you can see the difference this is making. It's 128, 500, you can see it completely changing here like so. And then you might be wondering, well, the color's just staying pink. That's just because if I were to deselect it, you can actually see it. Because when you select something, it adds a color overlay, which is obviously then merging with the green and whatever colors. So it's changing it. But either way, you just do this. So if I set it to 32, you can see that looks like this. Again, I have another video where I go over that into more detail. However, light map density is what you're gonna to want to look at when building the static lighting using the GPU light mass like this, as you are fully baking it into the light maps. So I think that will be it for this video, covering the GPU light mass and how to actually build and bake static lighting in Unreal Engine 5. And this way is just a lot quicker and a lot more efficient than the usual build lighting button, which we have up here. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, 
please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.